AI may seem like it's headed down a path of becoming all-powerful, but there is an Achilles heel in large language models, and there's a whole paper dedicated to it. We get into that, plus Inflection's new large language model that crushes ChatGPT on this episode of AI Focus. There's a new paper out called The Curse of Recursion Training on Generated Data Makes Models Forget, and it centers around the concept of model collapse, which is the idea that the training of AI language models falls apart when they're trained in the output of other models. The language models we see today from Google and OpenAI are trained on stuff from actual people on the internet. That's what makes them so good. But what happens when the internet starts filling up with AI-generated text? Well, ideally, AI in the future would be being trained on the outputs of previous AIs. The paper highlights that this could cause real problems in these new models because AI tends to overemphasize or underemphasize patterns in their training. For example, Say a model is trained on a data set of 100 cats, 10 with blue fur, and 90 with yellow. The model learns yellow cats are more prevalent, but also represents blue cats as more yellow than they really are. This results in some green cat results when asked to produce new data. Over the course of more training cycles, the blue fur trait is eventually erased altogether. This is model collapse. If you train models on AI output repeatedly, these flaws get worse and worse until the newer models become completely detached from reality. Ted Chiang, a sci-fi author, likened this to the degradation of a JPEG as you continue to copy it. Or it could be compared to the movie Multiplicity, where Michael Keaton's character clones himself over and over and each clone gets dumber. Ross Anderson, one of the paper's authors, wrote this in a blog post. Just as we've strewn the oceans with plastic trash and filled the atmosphere with carbon dioxide, so we're about to fill the internet with blah. This will make it harder to train newer models by scraping the web, giving an advantage to firms which already did that, or which control access to human interfaces at scale. Indeed, we already see AI startups hammering the internet archive for training data. This could have more serious implications. Imagine a scenario where generative AI forgets all races exist except for one. This is not a model forgetting previously learned information. It's a model completely misinterpreting reality based on its own reinforced beliefs. Scientists trained generations of models on the outputs of previous generations as seen in this figure, and you can see the AI getting exceedingly weirder. And it doesn't take an entire internet to create model collapse. Researchers found it would only take 10% of their training data to be generated by AI for this to occur. There are two possible ways that this could possibly be prevented. One way is to retain a copy of the human-produced dataset and avoid having any AI-related data touch it. Then the model could be periodically trained on this data or trained from scratch. The second way is to simply just reintroduce human data into their training. But these models would require large-scale labeling of data, and that doesn't exist yet. It's funny how the universe works. One of the big concerns was the value of human-authored work, creative expression as a livelihood, and the desire to even create at all was potentially at stake with the rise of AI that could write everything on its own. But this new development provides sort of a failsafe for the human creator by assuring them that their work will always have value in the end, at least until big business finds a way around model collapse. Before we get into the new LLM that's more powerful than ChatGPT, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. But the show must go on. And what if I told you there was an LLM more powerful than ChatGPT and Llama, while at the same time feeling even more like a person? In May, I briefly talked about Pi, which is an AI chatbot created to be very personal in the way that it communicates. I've tried it out and it indeed is really like talking to an empathetic person. It's impressive. And if things get too serious, it's even trained to refer you to a professional for further help. But the company behind Pi, Inflection AI, has developed its own state-of-the-art LLM in its own in-house studio for training and inference. This LLM crushes both ChatGPT and Llama, and they have the paper to prove it. Their new LLM is called Inflection One, and it powers their AI Pi, and will soon be available via their conversational API. Inflection 1 was trained using thousands of H100 GPUs on a huge data set, and their in-house pipeline allowed the company to develop a number of proprietary advancements 
detailed in their technical memo that we'll get into right now. This technical memo shows that Inflection 1 is the best model in its compute class, outperforming GPT 3.5, Llama, Chinchilla, and Palm 540B on a variety of benchmarks. And after reading the research, I can see why interacting with the Pi AI was so impactful to me. It serves as a sort of bridge in intelligence between ChatGPT and GPT-4. It was way smarter than I expected, and combined with its caring persona, it's no wonder I was blown away. First off, Inflection 1 set a new standard on the MMLU, or Massive Multitask Language Understanding Benchmark. This benchmark tests a wide range of academic knowledge. The benchmark includes exams from 57 different categories, ranging from high school to college to professional level difficulty. Inflection 1 produces a 72.7% score on average across all 57 tasks, with greater than 90% accuracy on 5 different tasks. On 15 tasks, Inflection 1 achieves greater than 85% accuracy. As you can see, GPT 3.5 scores an average of 70%, Palm 540B is at 69%, and Llama scores at 63.4%. Inflection 1 is also better at trivia questions than other models in its class, as shown in this table. It's even only 2 points behind Palm 2 in the Natural QA one-shot category. Here is a figure showing that Inflection 1 surpassed all other models at Common Sense benchmarks, and it does not lag far behind GPT-4 and Palm 2 at all. Inflection is in the middle between Palm 2 and Palm 540B when it comes to the big bench hard using chain of thought prompting. Inflection was also tested in reading comprehension where it's not far at all behind Palm 2, and in math where it's about 4 points better than ChatGPT. But it's way below GPT-4, who has a monopoly in this area with a score of 92. Palm 2 is the closest to GPT-4's math abilities, and it's only at an 80. The only area where ChatGPT has the advantage over inflection is in coding. The paper says, as our products do not require any advanced code generation, we did not perform any work to specifically improve coding capabilities. It's also worth noting that all these tests were done with the Inflection 1 Foundation model, which has not undergone any fine-tuning or alignment. Their AI Pi, however, was fine-tuned to be a safe and personal AI, and I encourage you to try it. Inflection as a company was started just over a year ago, and they've already achieved some impressive milestones. They're already the best in their compute class. Their blog says we expect dramatic improvements in the coming months as we continue to scale and innovate to deliver on our mission to build the most capable and safe AI products accessible to millions of users. I'm very interested in the development Inflection will continue to make and I'm eager to see what they'll do next. What do you want to see me do a video on? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.